LG has a few tricks and wristbands up its sleeve. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. The Consumer Electronics Show kicks off in just a few days, and as we get closer, more reports are coming in about the new tech that will be shown off at the show. Check out this image. It may be what LG's new WebOS televisions look like, if Twitter user EvLeaks is correct with his report, and he pretty much always is. LG bought the rights to use the old Palm operating system in smart TVs for accessing apps and other tools. From the same source, we also get a peek at some wearable tech from LG called the LG LifeBand Touch. It appears to be a fitness tracking bracelet similar to Nike's Fuel Band. It's been rumored that LG has been working on wearable tech, and it is a hot area for many manufacturers right now. Google has bumped off the app Bump, the app that let you bump phones to share files like contact info and photos. It was bought by Google a few months ago in September and now Google is shutting down the service at the end of the month. The classic media player Winamp may have found a second chance at life with a new owner. Current parent AOL announced it was pulling the plug on Winamp. It's a media player that gained popularity before iTunes. But it seems AOL is selling the software to a Belgium company called Radionami, which provides access to about 6,000 radio stations. First reported by TechCrunch, it seems a blogger and someone on the Winamp forum noticed the domain name server for Winamp is now pointing to Radionami.com. Winamp was scheduled to shut down on December 20th, but the software is still alive and available for download. We could see some new Windows phones coming from Sony. According to a report from the tech blog The Information, Sony is considering to launch a Windows phone in mid-2014, which, if true, it could be the first time Sony makes a Windows phone. It's been exclusively Android. And speaking of smartphones, the Motorola Moto X is getting a price drop at major U.S. carriers. This customizable Android phone is now $400 without a contract. But if you'd rather have a two-year contract, it starts at $100. Netflix is testing a cheaper subscription rate if you plan on streaming in standard definition from one device. But it's only a dollar cheaper at $7 a month. Netflix is offering this discounted option for just a select number of new users that are signing up now for the service. A Netflix spokesperson told CNET that it's only a test and it may never be offered to everyone. In October, Netflix was said to have 30 million U.S. subscribers. That's your tech news update. You can find more details at CNET.com update and follow along on Twitter. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.